Hey everyone, it's Taylor from L.com. Today I'm going to walk you through different formulas of shimmer for your face, as well as great techniques on how to add contour to the cheekbone. When it comes to adding highlight to the skin, I always recommend using a creamy or liquid formula. You can definitely use a powder, but the liquids are going to look a little bit more natural and less like a disco ball on your face. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of steps on how to add highlight to the cheekbones, as well as anywhere else on the skin, and how to add slight contouring by adding in a little bit of bronzer. One of my favorite ways to add shimmer to the skin is by using a shimmer stick. You can find a lot of these out on the market, but these are going to give you a lot of control and they're really, really easy to apply. And I like to do shimmer high up on the cheekbone, so wherever sun would naturally hit your face. Sometimes down the bridge of the nose, if you're very, very dry and you want to add a little bit of shimmer. The chin is always nice if you're not too oily. And for people that want to add a lot of definition to their lips without doing anything crazy, take a little bit of shimmer and plop it on your cupid's bow. Once you've applied the shimmer, you can go in with your blush wherever you would naturally put it. That's a really easy way to add highlight. If you're somebody that likes a little bit more control when you're applying your makeup, I recommend using a highlight that comes in a compact. These are normally creamier and they offer a lot more control since you'll be able to use either your finger or a brush to apply them. You're going to put them in the same spot you would have put the stick in. But they allow you to get smaller spaces and a more natural look if you want that. Make sure to concentrate the highlight as high up on the cheekbone as you can and further out. Avoid getting it anywhere on the apples of the cheek since it'll just make you look a little bit greasy. So for those of you who like to avoid creamier formulas, you're going to want to use a powder shimmer. I like actually just using my finger for this since I get a little bit more control. And I just take this wherever I would normally put a cream, which is again high up on the cheekbone. You can apply this before you apply your blush and bronzer or after to add a little bit more of a glow. You can also take a bigger fluffier brush and use it over any foundation to give a nice highlight to dry skin. You're going to want to avoid any shimmers if you're a naturally oily person since this is just going to enhance any shine that's on the face already. So I'm going to show you how to pull it all together with a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of color on the cheekbone to give a great defined contour cheek. I'm going to use a smaller, fluffier brush to apply this bronzer. I like to wipe any excess off onto my hand and work off of that since I'm very, very fair. I don't want to get too much color on my face. I'm using the same technique, I'm going to blend the bronzer under my cheekbone into the hollows of my cheek using small circular motions. Again, working off the back of my hand and not directly from the compact. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to go in with a creamy highlighter. And right now I'm actually using a liquid one. And I'm just going to blend this right over the cheek, almost into where the bronzer ends. These liquidy formulas end up making your skin just look really healthy and moisturized and not so much highlighted and shimmered. I'm using the same blush as before. I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush in the same exact spot as before. And there you have it. So hopefully today we answered a few questions for you on how to use highlighter and how to contour the cheekbone. Make sure to tune in to L.com for more beauty video how-tos with yours truly.